favorite smartphone today, no exaggeration. In many ways, it defines what a reliable, consistent, daily driver should be. And I'm going to tell you why. Let's start with design. You know, smartphone design is about two things, looks and hand feel, as Jay likes to say. Uh, let's dive in. Here's our first glimpse of Redmi Note 4, a premium metal body. It's just over eight millimeters in thickness, but it looks and definitely feels thinner than that. And that's because of the tapered edges, which in practice shave off about three and a half millimeters uh, of the thickness of the device. So it actually feels more like five millimeters when you're holding it in your hand. Redmi Note 4 is our first Redmi product to use 2.5D curved glass on the front. It's a big deal. It's a decidedly much more elegant look, and it makes uh, an edge swipe feel kind of buttery. It's beautiful industrial design, and it's a spectacular hand feel, uh, an incredible hand feel upgrade from Redmi Note 3. Another big upgrade are the separation lines uh, that you see here. Uh, it helps with the antenna functionality. We've replaced uh, this um, seam that you see here on Redmi Note 3 with a very classy anodized aluminum line in Redmi Note 4. It looks really premium. And let's take a look at the bottom. Big change here. The back speaker grill um, on Redmi Note 3 is gone. It's a much cleaner look, and no need for this little ridge over here anymore. Menu, uh, let's skip. Redmi Note 4 is beautiful down to that science. It's perfectly symmetrical. Uh, USB port, speaker grill, fingerprint sensor, two-tone flash, camera, all perfectly stacked, perfectly centered. It's symmetrically beautiful. Now, I mentioned we had a good reason for this Batman-style black-on-black visual in our stage theme. Well, that's because we're introducing a new look with Redmi Note 4. Check out the product video. Ever, we're launching Redmi Note 4 in a super sleek matte black finish. And the lines here, the separation lines are even more gorgeous. Uh, we're using a silvery black mirror finish that really blends nicely with the uh, black matte body. Uh, black coated aluminum body. It looks fantastic. It's an entire new look, in fact, in the Redmi portfolio. Here you can see a close up of the beveled uh, edges. Uh, the black front, look how perfectly black the display in, and it really how it blends in. It perfectly disappears into the front of the device when the display is off. And when it comes to life, it looks great. So four in black. Uh, this version will be available soon after the launch. And this is not a computer rendering. This particular photo is a real life shot uh, taken in our Bangalore office. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Uh, I absolutely love this photo. It should be easy. Just make the battery bigger and bigger, right? Well, we're using the same high-density battery technology, so the battery is about the same capacity as Redmi Note 3. Now, 
if we're not increasing the battery size, how can we make better battery life? This is one of the major design challenges for Met Redmi Note 4. Increase the battery by 20% without making the battery bigger. Redmi Note 4 is powered by Snapdragon 625. It's Qualcomm's first 600 series processor built on 14 nanometer FinFET technology. And this is the global debut of Redmi Note 4 powered by Snapdragon 625. That's right, it's coming to India first before any other markets, including China. Thank you. Because of 14 nanometer FinFET technology, Redmi Note 4 takes this thermal performance to a whole new level. So we ran a 30 minute intensive 3D gaming test using Asphalt Nitro, comparing Redmi Note 4 and Redmi Note 3. We actually had to make the test very long to get to the point where Redmi Note 3 even starts to heat up. So let's take a look at the results. Here we have uh, Redmi Note 3 on the left and Redmi Note 4 on the right. You can see that they start pretty much at the same base temperature. At around five minutes in, both still pretty much the same. Around 10 minutes, not much of a difference. It took us 30 minutes to get Redmi Note to cross 40 degrees Celsius in a visible way. But uh, if you take a look at the right here, Redmi Note 4 doesn't even get warm. The vast majority of this device is still under a cool 37, 38 degrees. That's, that's basically it. I mean, Redmi Note 4 has awesome thermal performance, so you can keep cool and carry on. Same great Snapdragon performance that our hardcore users expect. From things like the Adreno 506 GPU and the Qualcomm X9 LTE modem. Number two, we built a phone with 25% more battery life without increasing the battery size at all. Like, I guess technically we increased it by 1%. But <laughs> Number three, it has absolutely best in class thermal performance. Redmi Note 4 has the best sustained gaming performance of any device we've ever seen. And I know you guys are gonna love it. So with that, let's kick it back to Hugo. Uh, speaking of which, from all of the user feedback that we got on Redmi Note 3 over many months, the biggest area of improvement was most definitely camera. We invested a ton of time into not only sourcing the right great hardware, but also optimizing it a lot. The sensor we're using on Redmi Note 4 is a 13, 13 megapixel CMOS sensor, which we sourced from Sony and Samsung. It's backside illuminated, and it uses phase detection autofocus. Most importantly, 25% larger pixel area compared to the Redmi Note 3 sensor, and this really shows. This is a shot taken on Redmi Note 3, which does admittedly struggle a bit uh, in an exposure-challenged scene like this one. And there is the same shot on Redmi Note 4. I'm going to do this again. Redmi Note 3, Redmi Note 4. Many more of these for you guys to take a look at. Uh, they'll be available on Facebook. Uh, five megapixel front camera, and uh, really important note here, we've completely revamped Beautify, which is one of the signature features of MIUI. Now it has two modes, Smart and Pro, gives you a lot more control over your beautification. A full HD display is very carefully color calibrated. We pay a lot of attention here. And of course, a fingerprint sensor on the back. Uh, this was a signature from Redmi Note 3, and it doubles, uh, again, also signature from Redmi Note 3. Sir. And the Mi Remote app supports hundreds of home appliance models here in India. As you'd expect with LTE band support, of course, Volti out of the box. Of course, Redmi Note 4 is also made in India. Four will start at 9999. 64 gig version will go for 12999. Have a 332 version as well at 10999. What do you guys think? Uh, incredible product, 25% greater battery life, um, beautifully designed, incredible cement, incredibly symmetrical, unprecedented. Go!